Thank you, Speaker, and thank you, House Chair. After you took that seat, things progress rather swiftly. Um, so we are very grateful for what you've done. Otherwise, we'd have still been busy with this morning's schedule. Uh, speaker and the rest of the House and the rest of the country, this is a momentous year for the EFF. We go to our second National People's Assembly from the 13th to the 16th of December. And it's called the National People's Assembly because unlike your conferences where you just go to elect leaders who are useless anyway, um, ours is to come up with policies that will improve the lives of South Africans who will continue to suffer under 25 years of ANC rule. Our, our assembly is appropriately named Consolidating the Ground Forces for Socialist Power. When I speak of the EFF 44 Battalion, none of us... Point of order. Honorable Paulson, please take your seat. Deputy Minister, what's your point of order? I, I would like to... to All the members. I would like to caution the speaker. This is a farewell speech. You can't use it. You are destroying the decorum of what you are doing. Thank you very much. Yeah. Honorable Deputy Minister, that was not a point of order, but you are also right. Honorable Paulson. I will not be Honorable Paulson. to my squatcher. Honorable Paulson, take your seat. Honorable Paulson, farewell speeches are supposed to be light. It's goodbyes to your colleagues until you see them next. It is not meant for us to be scoring points. Please proceed, sir. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Speaker, when I speak about the EFF 44 Battalion, we used to be 25. We grew, unlike you, you lost 19 seats. You lost a couple as well. The uncircumcised hearts lost seats. The castrated bulls lost seats. The EFF has grown to 44. None of us here as the EFF has any personal interest above the interests of this country. The people respect EFF wherever we go. Honourable uh, Speaker. Because... Thank you, Honourable Paulson. Please take your seat. Deputy Minister, you're on your floor. Thank you. I think... Honourable, Honourable Papo, I have a man and an Honourable Member on the floor. Please proceed. I think uh, it's, it's not in order to refer to members in general as uncircumcised. Maybe if we can go to specifics, then he will be in order. Point of order. Oh, Honorable Paulson, I didn't say you must rise. Honorable Mazzoni. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I I'm used to the vulgarity coming from the member at the podium, but even that surpasses his normal level of vulgarity. And I do demand that he withdraws that statement. Unbelievably vulgar. Thank you, ma'am. Speaker, honorable, the honorable. Bible mentions uncircumcised hearts, and we can refer to the ACDP when it comes to uncircumcised hearts. The Bible does speak honorable about Paulson. it. Honorable Paulson. So you tell me the Bible Paulson. is vulgar. Honorable Paulson, please withdraw that. You, it's really out of order. No, no, uh, Speaker. The Bible speaks about uncircumcised hearts. No, 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 no. Honorable Paulson. I, I, I can't withdraw. What honorable in Paulson. The Bible. But if you wish, I withdraw. All the members, don't help me. Honorable Paulson, we're not in the Bible, we're not in church. Okay. We're in a house of equals and colleagues, and the language must be respectful. Please withdraw and proceed with your speech. But it's in the Bible, Speaker. No, 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 no. This is honorable members. Okay, I withdraw, it's fine, but it's okay. Yes, so, it is withdrawn unconditionally. You can then proceed with your speech. Okay, I withdraw unconditionally, but yeah, okay. No buts so, about it. So the EFF caucus with its full sense of responsibility, we participated in these parliamentary processes so that this government can shake itself out of the, its complacency and wake up to the daily realities faced by the mainly poor black people of this country. 
We'd like to see this government start to really work at improving the lives of South Africans so that for once we can have a happy holiday as all South Africans. We must all get down to real activism so that these processes here in Parliament don't descend into a mere series of pointless arbitrary tournaments. We all want peaceful coexistence, but Speaker, all of you here, we cannot have existence, peaceful coexistence between oppressed and the oppressor, between the exploited and the exploiters. We cannot have that peaceful coexistence. So yes, we will fight for the poor. We will fight for those children that are, that are being abused, for those women that are being abused, whereas everyone here pays lip service to it. It is only the EFF that truly fights for the oppressed of this country. Speaker, I wish you all a happy holidays, and I hope that your uncircumcised hearts will find it in yourselves to fight for the poor as well, and that these castrated bulls will for once live up to the words that they say when they say they would improve the lives of all South Africans instead of paying lip service, that you will actually start doing so. Thank you very much. Goodbye, and have a happy holidays. Honorable Paulson. You are not referring to members of this house as castrated bulls, are you? Order. Honorable Paulson, you are not referring to members of this house, both male and female, by the way. No, as castrated no, no. Bulls. no uh, speaker, I would never f refer to a female in any derogatory term, but if the castrated bull fits, then, you know, you can wear that title, but I wasn't referring to anyone in sp specifically. Honorable Paulson, that is very disrespectful. I wish you to withdraw that. I withdraw. Thank you very much. On a point of order, Madam Speaker. Honorable Mazzoni. I think it must be noted that with any luck at all after that Congress, that really was Honorable Paulson's farewell speech forever. <laughs> order, members. Order.